Nice little wolf spider here. Okay. Right under those grass pieces are, is the wolf spider. There she is. Look at her. Little female. And we can tell because of her pedipalps. All right. Hey, Bob the Spider Hunter here. Thanks for tuning in. You know, several weeks ago now, almost a month, I was in a West Michigan woods with a friend. We were doing some uh, hunting there, and uh, I happened to come across a wolf spider, and of course, we, I caught it and brought it back home. I wanted to show you how that spider's been doing in the aquarium I brought it home to. Uh, it did take a cricket when I got it in the aquarium, but then it uh, decided to hide itself and it took a while before I was able to see it again. I actually had to go dig her out. She's well accustomed now to the aquarium and comes out and gets crickets at nighttime. She's nocturnal, of course. And then uh, I'm hoping <laughs> to find her a little male uh, companion. If I can't, I'm gonna take her back to the woods and let her loose. So enjoy the video. And again, thanks for checking in. It's been about uh, three weeks now since I caught uh, this wolf spider, this female wolf spider off in uh, West Michigan area woods, dense woods area. And um, she has done something I've never seen a wolf spider do that I've had uh, in captivity. She's built like a little uh, cocoon out of the substrate that I have in the aquarium here. And I don't know if she's still even alive in there. I've never seen this. I thought she'd come out at nighttime at least and eat some crickets. She ate one once. That was about it. So I'm going to investigate this little cocoon she's made over here in the container. Uh, why don't you join me? We'll see uh, what we find here. This is the little cocoon area that she's made of the coconut substrate. It's like a little mound. I call it a cocoon. I think she's in there. Whether she's alive or not, let's find out. Hmm. It's, um, held together with webbing. My fingers will probably destroy it. I'm gonna try a little stick. So far, I don't see anything. There is a little tunnel here. Maybe she's burrowed down underneath the substrate somewhere. Ah, I do see movement in there. All right, let's get a light. Well, I do see some black legs in there. You can see those legs too. I can see that the, um, the tunnel she's made, the burrow, is certainly a tunnel entrance and it does go down deeper into the substrate. I got about mm, maybe an inch and a half of substrate in there, so who knows um, where where she's gone. I, like I said, this is she's at this entrance, so I'm gonna see if maybe she'll take a cricket. Because uh, I still have two crickets left here that I hear every night, so she's not been eating. Maybe she's been busy. I don't, uh, I'm not that familiar with, uh, with the wolf spider to know how they um, uh, get ready, prepared to, to lay eggs, or even if she's been inseminated to lay eggs. Uh, so uh, that's all new to me. 
So I don't want to disturb her if she's in the process of doing that. But um, if not, I want to make sure she's, she's uh, good and well in her little, her little funnel hole here. Well, let's see if we can find out what's going on in this little home here. I haven't seen this spider come out for a long time. I hope She's still okay in here. Oh, there she is. She looks just fine to me. this female wolf spider 
decided to uh, grab a cricket. Personally, I think she looks a little bit malnutritioned in the abdomen area. Good thing she's starting to eat now a little bit.